First look at Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the features of Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. In case you want to know how to install this ROM, we do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of this video. Now, as you can see on your screen right now, Android version is 11, Lineage OS version is 18.1. And before you ask me, yes, this is the unofficial build, but an important thing to note here is that it is from the official developer. Next up, security patch is from February 2021. The kernel they are using is perf kernel and SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing. Now, Lineage OS does not come with Google Apps baked in. So I have flashed Nix stock G apps on top of Lineage OS, which is why I do have Pixel Launcher out of the box. Here are the recents. Everything is pretty smooth. Select works without any issues screenshot works as well tap on share you will get access to the quick share menu press and hold on any application and then you can pin that application to your quick share menu the power menu here it is this is how your power menu looks like and yes you do have the android 11 easter egg cat game working without any issues along with bubbles an important thing to note here is that WhatsApp does not support bubbles right now. Google feed, here it is, no jitters, no lags, super fast and super smooth. The volume panel, here it is. This is how the volume panel looks like. And yes, you do have live caption as well. And here are the animations for the volume panel one more time, pretty smooth. This button here, you can use it to switch between the different ringer modes next up when you access your quick settings panel you do have the blur and the zoom effect working as well here are your quick setting tiles and yes we do have android 11 screen recorder which is going to let you record device audio and microphone at the same time let us start the screen recorder and now that we do have a screen recording going on let us check if we have any ui lag so no, there is no UI lag when you are recording your screen and everything seems to be working without any issues. Next up, we can go back to the quick settings panel. This is how the panel looks like and all the icons which you see, which have a down arrow besides them, in case you press and hold on it, it is going to open that specific setting. So right now we open Wi-Fi. Similarly, press and hold on Bluetooth. It is going to take you to that specific setting other than that if you tap on edit here are the other tiles which you can add so you have tiles for dark theme night light aod caffeine tile is there heads up system profiles volume panel and if you tap on the three dot menu on the top right the only option you have is to reset so unfortunately you do not have the option to configure the number of rows and columns of quick setting tiles over there next up we can go into settings network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you have the option to disconnect tap on advanced you also have the option of configuring auto connect on a per wi-fi basis next up we can go into apps and notification see all apps and let us go into gmail permissions camera three different options allow only while using the app ask every time or deny if you go back you also have a toggle to remove permissions if the app is not used and the duration for that is 90 days going to mobile data and wi-fi yes you do have per app network isolation so from here in i can configure if gmail has access to the network then wi-fi data mobile data background data vpn data and if i want to give it unrestricted data usage i have a toggle for that as well then if you go into conversations you do have priority conversations go into notifications enable notification history and now you should be able to see your notification history tap on advanced go into default apps digital assistant application 
it is set as Google. However, an issue here is when I enable OK Google, I go back, go back to voice match, it gets disabled automatically. So hey Google keyword is broken on this build right now for both the screen on and the screen off. Next up, if you go into battery, you do have thermal profiles. Here are the different thermal profile options you have. And if you choose game, you do have thermal profiles. Here are the different thermal profile options you have. And if you choose gaming or let's say you choose benchmark, you will have a new option here which is called touch control. And from here you can enable gaming mode, configure the touch response, sensitivity and the touch resistant area as well. Then you also have adaptive battery. You can configure the battery light as well. And you have battery saver, wherein you do have extreme battery saver in case you want to. And you also have automatic battery saver, which can be configured to start automatically at say 5%, 15% or 25% of the battery. Next up, we have display. First option is brightness level. Then you have the option to enable or disable dark theme and if you tap on dark theme you can also schedule dark theme to turn on or off at a custom time as well and if you want a pure black background for the dark theme you have a toggle for that as well then you have night light adaptive brightness is turned off right now let us turn it back on you also have live display going to color calibration so you can configure the rgbs and in case you screw up tap on reset everything would be reset similarly go into picture adjustment and you can configure the hue saturation intensity and contrast again in case you screw up tap on reset and everything is going to be fine next up you do have styles and wallpapers herein if you go into wallpaper you do have a few lineage os wallpapers baked in and then if you go into style you have one theme out of the box tap on custom you can make your own theme so you have four different font options then you have four different icon options multiple options for the accent color no rgb picker similarly multiple options for your icon shape as well give it a name tap on apply and as you can see it was applied without any issues and icon shapes have changed icons have changed accent color has also changed then in styles and wallpapers you do have the option of configuring the grid so you have four different options default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 going to clock and these are your four different options for the clock styles my favorite one is the type one so we are going to use the type clock then you can also configure your screen timeout screen attention is also there and again it is going to prevent the screen from turning off when you are looking at it then you also have rotation settings so you can configure all the four angles 0 90 180 and 270 next up you also have the option of configuring the colors so you have natural boosted or adaptive then you can configure the font size display size you can configure apps to run in full screen in case you want to go into lock screen here it is you have a toggle to enable or disable the media cover art on the lock screen do you want to see the lockdown option wherein it is going to turn off smart lock biometric unlocking and notifications on the lock screen then you can also configure your fod animation effect and you do have a bunch of different options then now playing is broken on this rom go into ambient from here in you can configure your always on display in case you want to and it works without any issues fod also works disable it and it's turned off here it is fod works without any issues in case you have aod turned off you can of course configure your pickup hand wave and pocket mode you have toggles for all those options then you also have double tap to wake double tap on the status bar to lock the screen or turn off the display wake on plug and yes dc dimming is also present so here it is double tap on the status bar device went to sleep double tap to wake up here it is working without any issues next option we have is sound so in sound you can of course link and unlink the ring and notification volumes 
then in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well once you enable this you can configure the start volume and the ramp up time then tap on advanced and you have pulse which is your music visualizer which works on the lock screen and in your navigation bar as well as you can see you have all these different toggles so navbar pulse lock screen pulse ambient pulse then the render mode can be changed and yes it does look pretty cool as well and next up in sound you have toggles to enable or disable the different options along with Dirac sound enhancer and you can of course enable hi-fi in case you want to next up we have security so in security you do have pin you do have fod now unfortunately there is no screen of fod so you can always use double tap to wake and then use your fod or you can enable always on display no face unlock on this build right now moving over to system first option buttons so in case you are using the three button style you can invert the layout then you can also configure your edge long swipe action so let us say i want to move over to recent app switcher so here it is you will see the arrows changed to double arrow and this has activated the long swipe action and here it is recents opened up similarly in case we change it to say turn screen off so you can try it one more time there it is screen was turned off so that is your edge long swipe action then you can configure the power button to end the call long press for torch with the screen turned off and here it is it is working without any issues next option you have over there is the option to configure after how many minutes or seconds you want to turn off this torch then you have volume button customization so you have toggles to wake the device answer the call and if you disable wake device then you can use volume rockers to skip music tracks when the screen is off similarly you can use them for keyboard cursor control reorient them when the screen is rotated and in case you want volume panel on the left you have a toggle for that as well and as you can see it works without any issues then you also have a toggle to enable partial screenshot so a short click of volume down and power will take a partial screenshot so let us give it a try volume down and power short click grayed out here it is partial screenshot tap on the check mark saved without any issues and working like a boss next up we have front camera sound effects so you can enable or disable the led and you also have front camera sound effects here are the different options no star wars tones over here then you also have system profiles in case you want to create profiles for say when you are in your car or you want a silent profile you can do that then you have customization for the status bar first option here is quick pull down right now it is set as right so if i swipe down from the right the quick settings panel will be expanded from the left they are not expanded and before i forget once you enable notification history you can access your notification history from your notification shared as well then you can configure the number of tile columns in your expanded quick settings right now they are set as four let us say i change this to five and bam there it is we now have five icons then if you want the material dismiss button you also have network traffic monitor and you have the option for location disabled status bar or quick status bar then you can configure the download mode in case you want to auto hide it and if you enable auto hide you can also configure the threshold for inactivity the refresh interval the measurement units can be configured and in case you want to hide the arrows you have a toggle for that as well then you can configure what all icons you want to see in the status bar you have toggles for all these different options in case you want to enable burn-in protection which is quite common on amoled devices you have a toggle for that you can configure where do you want to see the clock right left or center in case you want to see the seconds you have a toggle for that as well am pm style options are also present battery indicator three different options icon portrait circle and text and in case you are using portrait or circle then you also have battery percentage where do you 
want it and in case you want to adjust the brightness by sliding across the status bar you have a toggle for that as well moving over to gestures you have quickly open camera wherein you can press the power button twice from anywhere to open the camera application system navigation three different options old school three button navigation two button from android pi three button full screen gestures tap on settings and you can configure the the sensitivity on a per edge basis and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the bar at the bottom unfortunately you do not have an option to disable the back arrow then prevent ringing you can press power and volume up together to either go into vibrate mode or into mute mode as long as you have the master toggle enabled then you have power menu so in case you want to see advanced restart you do have a toggle for that go into power restart bam here it is advanced restart system recovery or bootloader those are my different options device controls is also there and in case you want to hide the sensitive content on the lock screen you have a toggle for that as well along with three finger screenshot and as you can see three finger screenshot works without any issues next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is let me open magisk manager and check for safety net as you can see safety net is passing without any issues do note my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and if i go into play store settings my device is certified which means banking apps should work without any issues in terms of youtube media playback picture in picture works live caption works do note for picture in picture to work you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in specific countries to have picture in picture without having to purchase youtube premium in terms of wide wine out of the box for me this rom has security level as l3 which means i will not be able to play netflix and prime videos in hd now i'm not sure whether it is the rom or i may have somehow lost wide wine l1 on my device because i do flash a lot of custom roms so in case one of you checks it out and you have l1 on this build do let me know via comments below next thing we can check for is portrait light feature so let me open google photos and let us try to edit this picture and go into adjust so there it is we do not have the portrait light feature on this rom next thing we can check for is app opening animations so here are the app opening and closing animations on your screen right now as you can see there are no jitters no lags everything is working absolutely fine recents again super fast and super smooth same thing applies for my google feed as well no jitters and no lags in the google feed either let us try switching between a few applications to see if you have any issues with that gesture again no issues at all now another thing i would like to mention is that the previous build of lineage os 18.1 had some issues with media playback wherein the media would stutter well you do not have any such issues on this current build and your media controls in your quick settings are also working without any issues now in terms of stability me personally i've been running this rom for a few hours i haven't had any random reboots or excessive battery drain which means everything seems pretty stable so far and all in all a great build of android 11 for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and there it is peeps that was our first look at lineage os 18.1 based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.